you doing? This is Black Shy Guy. Big news out. Big news out. That um, Henry Cavill is out. Henry Cavill is out as Superman. And a lot of us are upset about that. Um, I'm really upset about that because I wanted Henry Cavill to be back. I wanted him to return as Superman. And um, the announcement of the reboot of DC's Superman is really, really troubling. This is the problem DC has. And this is why they can never be compared to Marvel. And this is why they will never be successful. Because I'm not sure if they're trying to push an agenda now with this um, reboot of Superman. Because um, the one who's creating the reboot is someone who's had a lot of political statements in his social media. Which, remember, the life doesn't like when the right puts a lot of political statements in their social media. So... This guy is from the left. You know what I mean? This guy is from the left. You know, and he's put on a lot. He put a lot of political statements in his social media. And I'm not even going to go through it. You can look online, Google his name. But he has put a lot of political statements um, in his social media. And he's the one that's rewriting um, the report of Superman. And um, I have to admit... Henry Cavill being out as Superman is not happy news at all, whatsoever, whatsoever. If you consider it happy news, then you're out of your mind. Because to me, Henry Cavill next to Christopher Reeve was the best Superman since Christopher Reeve. Period. There's no debating it. There's no debate. He was a very good Superman. He looks the part. He embodied the part. And we, a lot of us are sad to see him go. I mean, why did WB not work with him? I'm not sure if you know about Grace Randolph's channel. You can go check her out. Her, the link will be down in the description. Gets, she gets into a lot of details about him not being liked by WB. So I suggest you go check her channel out. But so basically, WB does not like Henry Cavill whatsoever. They don't like him. They, he's unlikable. So they're not even willing to negotiate something for him to return as Superman. Ever since they're falling out. Okay. But. To dive into the reboot of Superman, okay? I'm going to bring you into a page right here. This is the guy that's rebooting Superman, okay? His name is Tanishi. I'm going to say Ta, okay? Because I don't want to kill his name, okay? I don't want to kill his name. But he has, he has had a lot of controversy on his political statements on his Twitter. And I'm not going to go look at them whatsoever. Like I say, go look him up. He had some comments in the 9-11 situation. He's had some comments about Trump being president, which a lot of people don't like, which a lot of people on the right, let me say that correctly, a lot of people on the right didn't like. But he's had a lot of statements, all right? But why am I bringing that up? Because is he going to push an agenda when he's rebooting the Superman story. All of us want us want want him to stick with the um with the iconic Superman look, okay? You know what I mean? I'm not saying Superman being black it's a bad thing. I'm not I, I'm not I'm not saying that. I mean, I'm I'm not saying that whatsoever. What I'm saying is is he going to push an agenda with it, okay? Th this is the thing because you have to understand what's going on in the world right now, okay? What's going on in the world right now is racist, r racism is the big topic all of a sudden right now, okay? And is he going to push the agenda of putting a black Superman to basically state that we basically, the black people are rising despite the racism, etc., etc. We are conquering our, uh, our suppressors, etc., etc. You know what I mean? Basically pushing an agenda. What I what I think putting a black Superman be a bad thing? No. Would it help the DC situation? Absolutely not. I mean, you will negate a lot of true fans of the comic book of the iconic hero of Superman himself away from the DC films if you do that. Business-wise, you would derail Superman. P 
Period. If you put an I, a black man as Superman, especially at a time where the left and the right is going at each other over the world, the racism and the presidency and everything basically political. Put in a black Superman at this point in time will cause a lot of controversy. Put in a white Superman will cause no controversy because it's basically saying you're sticking to the original you know basically the original fact that superman was white he was caucasian and you just stick into what he was if you put a black superman a lot of people is gonna say are oh, you pushing an agenda and knowing his history he has pushed many agendas okay he has pushed many agendas who is the black superman a lot of people are saying i'm um, is michael b jordan and especially a lot of people i see online are going to the um michael b jordan interview with oprah which he states um would he like to play the iconic superman let's just take a small clip and a small part of the interview which is the important part of the interview that i found very interesting and let's take a look at what michael b jordan says from earth 23 i'm a comic book guy okay you know so calvin ellis is superman i mean it's it's cool in your skin it, um I mean, it's, it's cool in your skin i'll be calvin, you see, I'll be calvin. in your skin for some reason oprah for some reason is pushing the fact that superman and his color skin would be a great thing Notice, Oprah has no idea about comic books. I'm sure of that. She has no idea about comic books. She does have no idea of the fandom surrounding Superman. So you're not a fan, Oprah, so you have no say-so on what Superman should be and what will be epic for his return. And him being cast as black is not epic, Oprah. Okay? So let's let, we're going to go back to that. I mean, it's, it's cool. In your skin. And, Let's go back so a little. So many different more. versions of Superman. I, I, Look at what Michael B. Jordan says. Being picked apart and compared to so many different versions of Superman. You hear that? Okay. Let me go back a little bit more. It's tough. You know why? Because I hate being a businessman. Also, he's basically talking about how he would be portrayed. What would he think? And what? And if he liked the fact of him being cast as Superman and a lot of people basically saying and the rumors surrounding of him being portrayed as the new Superman. Not as the new super, as the new Superman. Uh, uh, let's, let's take into consideration, this was basically a year or two years ago, this interview. So this has nothing to do with what's going on with today. I heard that, I heard, I heard, I heard a few rumors buzzing around. I think just to be in those conversations, it's flattering and very humbling that they would like- Would you, you know, like to be Superman? It's tough, you know why? Because I hate being a businessman also and like understanding both sides of Notice Michael B. Jordan, who's a very intelligent man. Michael B. Jordan to me is the next Denzel Washington to me. He's very intelligent, very articulate, and he's very understandable and he understands the fan. When he said business wise, he's talking about the fans. He knows that the fans will pick it apart. He knows it. And not only would they compare him to the other Supermans because they're going to say, well, this is the real version of Superman. The, if they portray him as Superman now, let, let, let me say this once again. This happened two years ago, this interview, or a year ago. I could be mistaken. If they portray him as Superman now, it's definitely pushing an agenda, okay? But this happened two years ago, and he's talking about it wisely as to why he wouldn't want to be the new Superman. Of the situation, and I yeah. think there's a huge upside to it, but then there's... Just being under that microscope of just being picked apart and compared to so many different versions of Superman, I, I would I would rather do something original. Really? But but the yeah. chance to be Superman. I mean, it's it's cool. In your skin, I'll be Calvin. I'll be Calvin Ellis. You know, there's a, there's another version of Superman that from Earth 23. I'm a comic book guy. Okay. You know, so Calvin Ellis is like boom, Oprah, because you don't understand that. But he does. He is a comic book guy. He understands what the fans' reaction would be if he's the new Superman. He wants to be original. He wants to be the other Superman who's in the comic books. Oprah. He's not trying to push an agenda or trying to basically change and overhaul 
the original character Superman who's Caucasian. He's not trying to push any type of agenda. He wants to stay true to who? The fans. That's what he's talking about when he says the, the, out, the, the, the outcry that's going to happen if he, if he is the new Superman. Because, let's be honest, the people who are going to be crying about it are the fans who's followed Superman since the comic book, issue number one. Those are the people who are going to be crying outrage about this. Those are the people who are going to be saying, what in the hell is WB doing by putting a black Superman? And let me state this again. It has nothing to do with the fact that he's be, he's black and he won't do a good job. The fans just wanted to stay true to the comic books because they're fans of the hero oh. like you know earth 23 i don't know who you're talking about but so, okay. this, so so exactly if you don't know what he's talking about then why your input has no validation if you don't know what he's talking about your input has no validation oprah so why would you say, why would you try to push the fact that uh, <laughs> Superman being in a black skin? Stop it. Are you even thinking about the fans or are you just thinking about some type of agenda you're trying to push as su with Superman being um, um black portrayed? You know what I mean? I just had a little moment where I'm like, am I going to act like I know what he's saying? <laughs> no, you don't know what he's saying. I just do that little kind of, oh, yeah, Calvin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, oh, yeah. There's, a, there's another version of Superman in another dimension that is black already in the comic book. I love you, Michael exists. B. And I think the, 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 the comic book, you know, Preach. can accept that more than me being. Uh, exactly. Oh, I, yeah, I love I, this I, man. I love this man. That's a different thing. So. That's, a, that's a very that's different, a different thing. thing. Very different thing. Mm -hmm. Now. You telling me, you telling me, right? That that wasn't logical thinking right there? Huh? You telling me Michael B. Jordan didn't shut her down? Look how, I mean, he just shut her down. He thought about the fans. He thought about what would happen if he's portrayed as the new Superman. It wouldn't be good. And it wouldn't be good now. So the rumors coming out with Michael B. J Jordan being Superman, I don't think it's true. I think the internet and the media is trying to push it because they we all know the media is trying to push all sorts of agendas upon us. I mean, with Michael B. Jordan, I hope Michael B. Jordan stays true to what he said back then. Because Michael B. Jordan, I know for a fact, wants to stay true to the comic books because he's a comic book fan. So he's going to tell, remember, he said he's a businessman. He's going to say, wait a minute, whoa, you don't see the time and period our country is going through? I don't think putting Superman black is a good thing right now. Let's go original and let's do the other black Superman, the original one. Let's not do the Superman Clark Kent. Okay, we can't do that. It's gonna really, really hurt the WB. It's really gonna hurt the franchise. As if the franchise is not hurt enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? As if the franchise is not hurt enough, you know? But let's take a look, okay? Let's take a look at D Superman, what he's doing, okay? Because he put a new project he's doing right here. That was me. You know, I'm a big fan of Henry Cavill. I do follow him. Um, he said secret project or just a handful of paper with random words on it. Guess you'll have to wait and see. Happy hump day, all. I don't know what he's doing. This person said the Mass Effect. I doubt it. I mean, I, I'm a, it had, um, I don't think it's The Witcher either for the simple fact that we all know he's doing The Witcher. So I, I, I doubt is, I doubt is the, is The Witcher. I, I really doubt. But I mean, who knows? Um, I think it's something else. I really hope it's the new James Bond that once again, the link will be down in the description that Grace Randolph did. I don't know if she's hearing rumors or it's a little bit of facts that she's um, 
leaking out that she's heard that he will be the new James Bond. But I damn well hope that he's the new James Bond. It would be so amazing. It would be so amazing if he's the new James Bond. But, hey, say la vie. He is no longer Superman, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I mean, he is Superman. I see no one else as Superman. I, 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 I just don't. I just don't. Why they couldn't negotiate something to work with this man? Because WB is suffering enough. Listen, okay? Wonder Woman, the last Wonder Woman was horrible, okay? It was horrible. I, I even was giving it second thoughts. I was hearing so many complaints, and I'm like, oh, it can't be horrible. These people are just talking shit. No, it was horrible when I watched it. It was horrible. Horrible. The action scenes were horrible, too. Horrible. So... Wonder Woman is still there. We're still grasping it. We know that Wonder Woman can still be successful, okay? Aquaman, I don't know why it's taking so long. There's a lot of controversy um, going on with Aquaman, too, with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. You know, everybody want her out as Mera. So the only thing that doesn't have controversy with WB's DC lineup is Alfred the Butler. <laughs> Every, every film has controversy to the one playing the flash with his controversy with his beatdown of a woman downtown or, or somewhere in new york to um amber heard and aquaman to henry cavell's contract fallout with the with wb um to um cyborg's controversy to now wonder woman's patty jenkins um debacle argument on twitter with fans it's just controversy after controversy after controversy. And now we have this. The announcement of Henry Cavill out as Superman. Can WB do anything right? Huh? Because so far, I'm seeing nothing being done right. Hey. The new Batman is looking good. I, I, I am liking him as the new Batman. I, did I want Ben Affleck back? Yes, I did. But, ooh. Patterson's Batman looks like a badass, and I'm not I'm not gonna sleep on him. I always slept on people because I slept on Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, and she made me feel like a fool. So maybe hey, Patterson will make me feel like a fool. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Superman reboot. Hit the like button if you really enjoyed the video. Also, subscribe for any upcoming new videos. All right. This is Black Shy Guy. Unfortunately, we got bad news once again with the WB, but it is what it is. All right. Black Shy Guy, thanks for sitting at my table. I'm out of here. Peace.